Hi, welcome to the uh, Fakal World Cup special where today we will be discussing movies uh, about football or soccer, depending. Yeah, there will be a lot of spoiler alerts in, in this review. Uh, Largely because these movies have been out for quite some for time. For quite some time. There are, there are quite a number of football movies throughout the time. Yes. So, what, what we are hoping to do with this episode is that if you still haven't had enough football, so we have compiled sort of a list of, 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 the, of football movies. Which you can watch whilst, uh, especially during the knockout stages, there'll be days where there aren't any World Cup football. So, I think no list of football movies would be complete without the Gold Trilogy. Without the Gold Trilogy, yes. Uh, FIFA thought it would be right. a good idea to commission uh, this bunch of movies. Right. Uh, uh, on, 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 on football. One of the main uh, reasons for these movies is that they wanted to sell it to the Americans. Yes. And Santiago uh, Munez was a Mexican immigrant in the United States. Yes. Uh, started off illegally as well. Yes, illegally. Yes. So, yeah, if we were to summarize the plot, I think a legal immigrant boy grows up in LA, loves to play football, very gruff dad who doesn't believe in these things uh, got spotted by somebody he used to be associated with a big football club in the UK he flies off uh, with the shirt on his back goes off to Newcastle first try rubbish then yeah. gets another chance um, he gets into the team he parties in Newcastle of course he would be please. despite the fact he couldn't really play football <laughs> but they, they actually did it quite well and they superimposed it with real players and, and because it was a FIFA funded it actually had real players right? so the, the first movie finished on that note the second movie went to Spain yes uh, whereby he played uh, for uh, Real so then in Real Madrid he's a hit yeah. And being Spanish speaking, although they speak English throughout the movie, but yeah. being a Spanish speaking player, he becomes a big hit. But then he's brought back down to earth. So that's that's the two movies, the goal one and goal two. Yeah. Then they actually did goal three. Yes. Yeah. Not many people watched it because uh-huh. everybody got tired of the goal series by then. But there was goal three, and Santiago Munez had a very small role no, in yeah. the movie, and it, it was about these two players who were playing for England. Don't bother with that movie because no one really, no one really remembers that movie. I think there was an accident involved in there somewhere. So, all in all, the goal series would be the first go-to point if you want to watch football movies in the background. Yes. Yeah. It, it wasn't. It wasn't good by any stretch of the imagination. No. I tell you what, though, if if, if I was like 10, 11 years old when I watched mm. it, oof. You it would was, want to be Santi a, Nunes. Yes. Overall, if you were to give it uh, stars, as far as entertainment val- value to just yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, a wild time away and, and you, you are tired of watching real football, you want to watch <laughs> fantasy football, this is a good way of, of, yeah. of, of wasting some time. Yes. And it's on YouTube, you don't have to go to your corner shop uh, DVD guy. Yeah. I would give it about two and a half stars for goal one, yeah. two stars for goal two, yeah. and one and a half for goal three. Yeah, probably uh, three for goal one, uh, two for goal two, and none for goal three because I think I watched the first 10 minutes of it and I just took it in. Okay. <laughs> so, other than the goal series, what would you... Uh,